What's up y'all, it's Jay here, back at it again with another food review. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you have any thoughts, comments, opinions, just leave it down in the comment section down below, and we can banter back and forth. As you can tell from the background, showing in a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant in the West End. Not, not downtown, but pretty close. Uh, this Japanese restaurant in particular is called Kinyo. As you can tell, I got like a hot stone here, super hot, and I got some, uh, some beef tongue. So it's marinated with a uh, salt, pepper. Can I quickly add some lemon? And uh, we also have this uh, nice spicy lemon garlic sauce as well. So That sizzle though, that sizzle. It is super hot. I recommend it not to touch it. So Do a recap here. Uh, you have like a drink menu. Didn't get any of those things. Uh, super cool presentation for the napkin. The branding. Yeah, I ended up getting the uh, Gozen. I ended up getting this one. They only have a limit of this uh, per day. Usually it sells out within the first 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, I, they did me a solid by uh, just reserving that for me, which is pretty solid. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you, and for the this here, give you so much. This is sashimi, tuna, salmon, scallop, yellowtail, shrimp, volcano tofu. This is tempura, crab, tuta, fruit, eggplant. This is ahi tuna with allegra sauce. And pork berry chashu, eel sushi, egg sushi, and yuzu tuna tataki, Japanese pickle, green bean with sesame sauce, and yuzu soup. Awesome, thank you. And what's this? Uh, this is Kobe beef sukiyaki. Okay, cool. Thank you so much.
Guys, uh, so <clears throat> I ended up getting a, a bento box, a premium one, and it also comes with uh, this beef that's in like a clay pot. <laughs> I don't want to move it because it looks super hot, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean like it looks pretty solid, let me just... I just want to show you guys the beef in the bowl there. It's, it's like it might be overcooked at this point. So there was like this bowl with some sauce. Just quickly lift it up. The beef was in here. It's in their house sauce. It might be overcooked at this point. Very fragrant. We'll eat some of that with the rice. Check out that beef right here. It's like a unique teriyaki sauce, it's light, full of flavor, not too salty, and also there's like this garnish in here as well, the beef. Wow. Teriyaki beef. Quick 
basically raise uh, portions of the bento box. So this is uh, some chashu pork. It's included. Looks very nice and fatty. Yeah, please take it. It's glistening. And I have a piece of that. Trying to adjust this camera so I can see more of the details. Oh my god, there's crab temporary here. Look at this. Wow. Like yam, tempura, crab. Dive into this piece of fish here. Maybe have some portions. The detail on this fish. Everything is so neatly presented. Everything is so fresh. I'm just enjoying my whole entire experience with this uh, deluxe bento box. There's like this tofu and like some spicy sauce with green onions. It's very fragile. I think I'm just going to utilize the spoon here. Mm. That tofu is nice and silky with that chili oil flavor.
There's like tuna with uh, some sauce. I'm not too sure what it is. Tuna tataki. Let's see how it is. Mmm. I think this is egg. Everything about this bento box is sick. The tempura was good. They even give you a crab leg. The pork, very fatty, very thick, very well seasoned. The tofu is very silky, just the right amount of oil and spice. Um, I haven't tried the uh, sashimi yet, but there's tuna. tuna there. Mm. Wow. There's salmon, there's tuna. Mm. How fatty this is. Oh my god. And there's even scallops with fish eggs. Get some soy sauce. There's even a prawn. There's smoked salmon as well. Oh my god. Keep it. Mm. Everything is so good. Very pleasant experience. Everything is totally different in the sense that you get something. S it's a different experience every little piece. Mm. It's not too heavy. Very delicious. It just has its portion properly portioned in the sense that when you have one bite, you just want to go back for more. Thank you so much for the water. Let's try some of these green beans here with. Um, I think it might be peanut sauce.
it's a good side dish. Cleanse the pelt with some miso soup. I think they overdid the sauce on the tuna. Just because it's drenched in that sauce, but I'm not complaining. So when it comes to this Kings Deluxe Bento box, as I said, they have like maybe like 10 per day and usually there's a lineup like 30 minutes before they open. The restaurant opens 11.30. So people are lining up typically 11 a.m. just to get this. So, I mean like, it's very difficult to get it and people are lining up just to get it. I mean like, they have two uh, openings for the restaurant, one at 11.30 and then they close at 2.30 and open for dinner time, right? And in that instance, if you come in later in the day, if they sell out of this bento box, that means it's done for the entire day. I mean like from the sashimi, is super fresh, super fatty. <clears throat> the tuna tataki is fresh. Different kind of fish, super awesome. Uh, the pork is very fatty, very delicious. Uh, the portion of rice that they give, it's a good, right amount for all these little side dishes where you just dive in and you get something different every time you eat. Um, and there's also this, I think dessert on the side, but from what I remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like nine, nine sides that they give you. And then after the tenth one is the suki al beef. It's like it's sort of like a beef teriyaki. It's like in a clay bowl with the fire underneath, and it just like boils the meat. The thing about that one is, if you let it hang out for too long, it becomes way too like well done. And well, <clears throat> I was like taking video and just like taking photos and stuff like that. But in that instance, I mean, like it still wasn't too tough because it's very thick, thinly sliced and the flavor of the marinade just like absorbed in all pockets of the meat which is really good. Um, yeah, if you're in the area and you have time, come in in the morning, line up 30 minutes before, definitely recommend the bento box. 
Uh, and if you've never been here before, and you're looking for different additional items to add on to your go-tos, the beef tongue is really solid. It's the most marinated beef I've ever had. And in addition to that lemon zest, it's like so amazing. In terms of a rating for this, I'll give this a nine and a half, in the sense that uh, there's the little things that they can tweak a little bit. I think like the tuna tataki, they can just chill out with the sauce because it is super drenched. It's fresh, it's thick cut. But everything is very well seasoned, very well flavored. Nothing is too sour, nothing is too sweet, nothing is too salty. It's how it should be, how it complements each other, and the texture is on point for everything. I think for me, what stole the show is the sashimi, just because it was super fresh. Like the moment I bit into it, I felt like immediately full right after, just because it was just a, it was like the right amount of everything. The texture was good, it was fresh tasting, the right amount of fat. Diving into the the support. Once again guys, thank you again for watching. If you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more food reviews in the local Vancouver area. And catch you later. Peace.